Hi everyone and welcome back to question number six of this series of DC motors. And in this question, we have a series DC motor, meaning that the field winding and the armature winding are connected in series. We are given the rated value of the motor. So we have that VS is equal to 240 volt. This is the terminal voltage. We have IA, the armature current, which is the field current is equal to 76 amp. And the speed is equal to 900 RPM. The motor has a linear magnetization characteristic. What does this mean? It means that the flux is proportional to IF or IA because it's exactly the same thing. The armature resistance is 0.1, so this is 0.1 ohm, and the field resistance is 0.05 ohm, and this is your IA, of course. Neglect mechanical losses. Okay, mechanical losses is both the friction and the core. So because they are called mechanical losses or rotational losses, both. It, it has both. Uh, the core and the, the friction. At 50% of full load, when the load is 50%, so this is the 100%, so at 50% of load armature current, so the, when the current drops from 100 to 50%, we need to find the motor speed, develop torque, and the motor efficiency. Now, whenever you are giving the speed at certain condition and you want to find the speed at another condition, it's always based on their acceleration EA, which is proportional to the N times IF. Okay, so basically you will find these quantities at two different conditions. So I would say EA2 equal to N2 IF2 and EA1 is equal to N1 IF1. So EA2 is at the 50%, EA1 is at the 100%. So these are the two different conditions of loading. Then we divide them, and basically what we're going to find, we're going to find N2. This is our unknown. So let's find every single quantity of those. Now I if one is equal to IA, it's the same thing. The field current and the armature current are exactly the same. So it's IA1, which is 76 amps. IF2 is equal to IA1 divided by 2, which is equal to the current 38 amps. So now I know this and I know this. Now I need to find EA2 and AA1, very straightforward. EA2 is equal to the VS minus IA2 or IF2, it's the same current, times 0.1 plus 0.05, the armature and the field resistor because they are in series. And when you find this, so this is this is IA2, which is equal to the 30, 30 amps. Okay, and you will find this equal to 234.3 volt. Then I need to find EA1, which is again VS minus IA1, which is the 76 amps times the same resistors, 0 0.05, and this equal to 228.6 volt. So now I have everything and the speed at the first condition is equal to 900 RPM. So now we are set, we have the 234.3 divided by 228.6 is equal to the 38 current times N2 divided by the 76 current times N1, which is 900. And this will lead that your speed at that 50 percent load is equal to 1844.9 rpm and this is expected from the series motor we know that once the loading conditions change there is a significant change in the in the speed what is what else we need to find that developed torque on the shaft okay so what is the 
develop torque on the uh, on the shaft okay torque that is uh, developed t a or t developed doesn't really matter t developed is equal to i a times e a now we want that to be at what at the divided by omega of course at the 50 percent condition okay so it is the current is 38 amp times the ea is equal to 234.3 which is again at the 50 percent conditions divided by omega which is 2 pi over 60 times the speed that we just found here at this 50 percent condition which is 1844.9 and this will give me my torque which is 46 0.1 newton meter this is the developed torque the final requirement find the motor efficiency now what is the efficiency of the motor is p out divided by pn so we need to find both what is pn pn basically is 240 times the 38 the current which is the 50 percent times the vs which is the 240 volt how about p out is equal to what okay now the uh, the b out that we will have is exactly that b developed why is that because b out is equal to b developed minus p rotational or mechanical losses but the question says here neglect mechanical losses so at this condition the b out and the b developed will be exactly the same so this is this will equal to the eaia which is the 38 times 234.3 so find the efficiency you will find it's equal to 38 times 234.3 divided by 38 times 240 and this would equal to 97.63 percent